beautiful BC, where homes can easily cost over a million dollars, even two, and rent is typically the highest in Canada. But here's one way some people are making housing more affordable. Multi-generational homes. It's basically where grandparents, adult children, and grandkids live together. They might split mortgages, even groceries, and generally help each other out. So how does this help different families? And what can it look like? Uh, when we talk about multi-generational households, it isn't a, it, it really isn't a failure to launch. It is, it can and is a foundation to succeed for many. For one family in Vancouver, it's meant building a second home in their Kitsilano backyard. We're able to move into having a mortgage and be owners um, and, and not have to do rent anymore. Mary Hine and her husband moved in two years ago and since had a daughter. Their mortgage is slightly higher than what they paid to rent a one-bedroom apartment in 2020. And they get almost twice the space. We're adding a, a tremendous amount of value back into our own land. Being able to stay in our neighborhood, being able to stay relatively close to our work. This just seemed like a great option in terms of affordability. So how did this happen? Well, Mary's parents live in a historic character home that they bought 25 years ago. And if homeowners in Vancouver retain these unique homes, the city has an incentive that allows them to add a smaller home known as an infill on the same property. So Mary and her husband got a loan to build their own 1,400 square foot home in her parents' backyard. It was well, well worth the effort. You know, we're here to support, but we're not, we want to stay out of their, out of their lives when, when that makes sense. Ah, 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 ah. What's that? Now, across Canada, homes shared by multiple generations, two or more families, or one family living with unrelated people, grew by 45% in the last 20 years. That's about 1 million homes in 2021, when the most recent data is available. And there could be many reasons why. Housing unaffordability, I think that an aging society comes into play. Immigrant culture that we are a nation of immigrants, and as part of being that nation of immigrants, multi-generational households are really a way of living in the city. Hi. Hello. Welcome in. Let's go. The Sings immigrated from Italy to Abbotsford in 2018. Now they own a home, enjoyed by 10 family members, and this is Cookie. We are lucky we are living together. And it's our... Uh, Culture also. Living together, you can share everything. And that includes the adults splitting a hefty mortgage, <coughs> bills and groceries, while Grandma helps care for the kids. She's a, another mother for us, and she helped us when our mom was doing work. <laughs> Singh says his brother and uncle helped buy the home in 2021. Without family, Owning a home in today's market as new immigrants would have felt impossible, I think. It's a dream to home, own a home in BC. <laughs> and for others, multi-gen living has meant tearing down one home and building two units or more on the same lot. Okay, bud, we're going inside. This is going to be your home one day. It's hard in the city to, you know, for a single family to, you know, to have a single detached home. It really is. So, um pool of resources is is it made this achievable. Chris's family built a duplex. He will live on one side, his wife's mother and brother in the other. That's about uh, getting everyone close together and um, and having some square footage uh, uh, to raise this little guy. He says he's looking forward to moving his family out of their one bedroom apartment. Now, multi-generational living isn't a new concept, but experts say current government initiatives mean we could see more of it. For example, there's a federal tax credit. It provides a one-time 15% tax refund for renovation costs up to $50,000 for a secondary unit for a senior or someone living with a disability. In 2023, BC also introduced significant new legislation. Part of it is for small-scale housing and it allows secondary units and laneway homes to be added on single-family lots across BC. And this builder says he's seeing a lot more interest in laneway homes. So this is 400 square feet. This is the trend. This is how people are going to live in the future. And finances was, is the number one driver people are doing this. Uh, for laneway houses, we have 11 on our books right now, and nine of those 11 are for multi-generational. 
So yes, there's lots of ways to live together and still have personal space, but multi-generational living may not be for everyone. It can still be hard to find the right space or enough space that's affordable. There can be questions around privacy and how to share parking. But beyond the challenges, these families say it's one way to cut costs and build a foundation together. Beneath Brach, CBC News, Vancouver.